Hi everybody, I will be playing this video that was just sent to me by a subscriber. It's only 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Long Island residents, Woodbury, Long Island, very upset about the fact that cell phone repeaters, the, the uh, 5G antennas, have been placed um, around their homes, very close to their homes. They were not informed that Verizon would be doing this. They um, just came home and saw them. Nobody asked for their consent. And this guy is their local representative. And of course, he's submitting to federal government law. Yeah, we, I can't do anything. It's the law. What the hell? The law? This guy should be suing the federal government. Um, how is it that we became a people that just allows people to usurp our power? Um, okay. We are a fascist nation. We are not the country that uh, we used to live in. We are not the country that is still in a lot of people's minds, the idea, the concept. No, we are a fascist nation. Corporations merging, merging with government. Nobody represents the people. He doesn't represent them. Why do we even vote for these local representatives when they can't do anything for you? But it is true that, you know, when you have a group this size, nothing's going to happen. They need everybody in Woodbury demanding that these antennas get removed. Everybody in Woodbury. Just a few, and fortunately, many of these residents understand the health effects. So, oh my God, it is so upsetting. And for those of us who are hypersensitive to these frequencies, when we get the 5G near our homes, we're going to be dead. I mean, as it is, so many of us are suffering the effects of 4G. 5G? Well, I'm going to link below to every video that I have posted on it because below the videos are a lot of links about 5G, the health effects, how dangerous, how dangerous is the radiation that will be emitted from these antennas that are so close to homes. <clears throat> right outside their homes. Can you imagine? You know, you know the health effects of the radiation and there's nothing that you can do. So your home used to be your castle. You used to be able to go into your home and just relax and feel okay. And now these people are trapped in their homes knowing that they are getting slammed with dangerous radiation. This is so unbelievably outrageous. But this video with uh, the uh, FCC, former FCC chairman, Tom Wheeler, what is he saying? He actually says, we're not going to study it. We won't regulate it. There's not going to be any standards for it. 5G is being rolled out untested. Dangerous frequencies, untested. Uh, Americans, does that sound like a good idea to you? But what's the point? Well. This massive deployment of towers will rake in billions, billions. For who? You? No. Verizon, AT&T, the telecommunications industry. Great. Well, you don't benefit. You're going to get sick, and they walk away with a, a whole lot of money. Uh, this video about 70 Ohio cities filing lawsuits. Lawsuits are no good. I'm sorry. Not in a fascist nation. Our legal system has been thoroughly corrupted and lawsuits don't do a thing. You know what's really upsetting? You know, did I say something about this representative? What a putz. What, you know, he does. He says, there's nothing I can do. Federal law. Federal law has usurped his power. Nothing I can do. Tell your representatives to fight for you. Tell them to file lawsuits even though it's not going to do anything, but at least you're getting your representative to do something for you, to represent you, instead of submit like a little um, putz. Submit to the federal government. Submit to the telecommunications industry. God, the weakness in Americans is sickening. Um, I'll link below to this. Dr. Deborah Davis talking about how dangerous 5G radiation is and... And this one, 
Think the frequency's bad now. 5G coming soon. Dangerous, untested, ultra-high frequencies. Here's the video. And you know what? Let me just say that you need to get proactive now. If 5G is not, if the 5G antennas are not right smack outside your home now, go down, speak to your local representatives, get proactive. Don't wait until you come home one day and you see your home surrounded with all of these antennas. Homeowners in one Long Island town are preparing for a fight. Two dozen cell phone repeaters installed in front of their homes. It was done legally, but residents say they were never told that it was happening. CBS 2's Carolyn Gustoff reports now from Woodbury. The view from Denise Tufano's Woodbury home abruptly changed last month, towering on her front lawn, a cell phone repeater. I could not believe this was actually happening. I said, how could the town permit this? How could they do this to us? She and Woodbury neighbors fuming over the placement of 22 cell repeaters for Verizon in front of homes on what's technically public property without notice or compensation. You couldn't give me $10 million for this, okay? Uh, there are potential health risks to these. Uh, they are aesthetically not pleasing. There's also the devaluation of our home properties. 5G technology promises faster service, but the jury is out on constant exposure to its radio frequency radiation. Your cell phone you use, you put down. Microwave you use, you stop. This is constant bombardment, and we don't know what uh, is the long-term effects. Residents say their cell service was good enough. Put them in a commercial area. We don't need it. And you know what? We should have at least been asked. I don't think the health of my children is as important as my cell phone service. When CBS2 asked the town of Oyster Bay supervisor why here, he showed up at this protest and was peppered with residents' demands. They have no place in front of homes in residential neighborhoods. Now, what about the ones that are in the ones that excuse me? New to the post, Joseph Saladino says the town's hands are tied by federal rules that cut local governments out. He's now rescinded permits for more repeaters and is calling for a federal health study. Town Supervisor Saladino vows to do everything in his power to get these taken down and prevent new ones from going up in front of homes. In his power, the operative words in Woodbury, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Verizon tells CBS 2 to keep up with the explosive growth. They need the antennas closer to where people are trying to connect so that they will get better coverage. They claim that the small cells have exposure levels similar to baby monitors and microwave ovens.